Hey, welcome back to Triple R, Random Work Reviews. Just wanted to kind of touch base or ask the community in my YouTube sphere area if they're feeling the same way about if they've seen a, like a drop off in their channel. Uh, this year is probably my best year for growth uh, due to YouTube shorts. Got more eyes on my channel, more subscribers. So I think pretty sure this year has been the best one overall so far. But then there was all of a sudden there was a drop off. I know YouTube has introduced pay to play. So that. That can be a good thing. Um, I guess they also changed the algorithm. At one point in time, when shorts started, I guess they were pushing shorts everywhere, which helped smaller creators get more eyes on. At least it did for my channel, I feel. Um, I heard the algorithm got rolled back or changed again into maybe the longer form content. I don't know, but I definitely noticed a drop off. Uh, I'm wondering if you guys have seen a drop off as well. Um, also, I noticed some people. Not complaining, but maybe realizing how ridiculous some of the prices have gotten in uh, the aftermarket, the resale market for like retro games and toy collecting. I saw someone at some toy expo or something like that, and <coughs> on, on the table they had an empty case. I think it was for Emperor Palpatine. It was the empty case. Not even like, it was just the empty molding they were selling don't don't buy things like that <laughs> you know i shouldn't tell people what to buy spend their money on but come on don't don't buy something like that that's ridiculous um also don't collect just to collect don't try to that's, i think it's something to avoid when you start buying lots of stuff i think it happens to most collectors um probably myself included uh so you watch that i'm on the cheaper side of collecting uh, but it can't happen uh, it's to collect to collect like you complete a set just to complete it and you don't and you don't care about 50 percent of the people in the set then i don't think you should complete it you know if you don't care if you don't care about these characters or you want to see them or have them on your display then why buy them right but it's your money do what you want that's just my opinion uh so i'm just wondering if you guys want to comment down below if you think or if you agree with what I'm thinking, or if it's happened to your channel, or anything about the retro game community, um, toy collecting, not really community, I think they're fine, um, but the resale aspect of it, where it looks like it could implode at any, any minute, which I think it might for both retro games and uh, toy collecting action figures, stuff like that. Uh, it does cycle, so we're we'll probably due for a down cycle, I think. So you can wait and get good deals, or maybe you want to sell before it's too late, because who knows when the cycle will go back up. So we've seen things happen like that many times throughout the years. Uh, you had Cabbage Patch Kids at one point in time, way back when, which was ridiculous. You had Beanie Babies, which was ridiculous. Um, if you see my channel, you know I, I am not a fan of Funko Pops at all. I pretty much hate Funko Pops. Um, I don't see how they're collectible. They're just little deformed figures. There's boxes everywhere. I don't, anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. Um, I'm already ranting about this YouTube stuff. Just like I said, uh, just something I noticed. Figure I'd make a post. Uh, I still enjoy making videos, so I'm going to keep on making content as long as I enjoy it. So that's the point, right? Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.